form leakage, yo. Mm-hmm. Uh, just to give a bit of background, working on Deja Vu, and we've come up to a bit where we introduced some new slash old characters. It's confusing. And uh, they've got quite English uh, or Western-sounding surnames. So we're now, t we're, now, we're now making efforts to change some of this. Yes, basically I have been bitching everybody's ear out about ears off about how uh, if you have different regions spawning new human home worlds then how come everybody has English sounding names like bah, <laughs> no. And it's an absolutely fair point and uh, it should hopefully lead to a more interesting world if we get this right. Mm -hmm. So that's where we're at right now. Um... So yeah, how do you want to how do you want to handle this? The um, we had some interesting fun when we were working on sixteen mm -hmm. when you were sort of chopping and changing bits and pieces. That was great fun. Uh, uh, well, what you could give me for starters is uh, what do you think of their origin homeworlds? Or not even we don't we don't we don't need to know the origin homeworld uh, in detail. We just need to know the sort of general region ish kind of. Okay, well in the <clears throat> in the case of Mia, I Archaos Four was my original thinking for her. Okay, so uh, she's a but, local. Yeah, but like this uh, quote unquote slummy, you know the. N well. Let's say current socio-economic status is irrelevant in this case. What mm -hmm. I'm after is the uh, human uh, cultural lineage, somewhat. So since our Chaos 4 is a sort of mixed bag of mm -hmm. different... Uh, it's the bus business... Uh, it's about businesses, not countries. So you can have a mix of whatever and you can come up with whatever. So, I think with her we can actually leave her like this at the moment. Maybe we can come up with a uh, snazzier spelling. Okay. I will also open up Google Translate just in case. What about the others? Um, Risto Payne, um, I haven't got any specifics, but he's from sort of the Yore region. I don't, I haven't really pinned it down. So we can maybe play around with some German and Slavic uh, thing. Okay. German, Slavic, Baltic kind of also Central Asian. Ooh, Mongolian. Ooh. Interesting. German. I am making some paper notes. Hmm. Uh, uh, the, okay. I'm gonna... <laughs> okay. I, mean, I was writing the note for Mongol, Mongolian down and there wasn't enough space on the page. I was like, I don't want to just write Mong. So yeah. I managed to try and get the OL on the end, but it's all underneath the sort of binding of the paper and all that. Uh, but there you go. German, Baltic, Mongol. Uh, Mir is fine. We're going to see about the spelling. And then you've got Taniki Rivers, and I don't know where she comes from. Uh, could be some indie world, and uh, the first name, so originally you had Tanya and mm -hmm. Nikki, which we merged into Taniki, and so you you can uh, pronounce it like this, uh, Taniki, in which case it's very English sounding. But if you pronounce it the Finnish way, it it could be Taniki. <laughs> so so we can actually play with some uh, Finnic language influence here. Oh, Finnish has got two ends. <laughs> I 
and I could actually use these summers and or rivers. Uh, oh my god, I just realized something. <laughs> summers and rivers, as in summer glow and river time. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Very Freudian. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Nice work, Brian. I see. I see how your brain is working. <laughs> mm. Mm, let's see then. So yeah, this this could give me a starting point. Tanicky Glau. No. No. <laughs> no. That is that is not what we are doing here. Oh. We don't want our references uh, in your face and direct. Mm -hmm. We want them to be interwoven to the weave of the world mm -hmm. effortlessly without uh, uh, without drudge and without the get it, get it, get it <laughs> yeah. the nudging and all that hey, yeah. hey look at yeah. this, this is stuff, right? no, <laughs> no your brain has to like I think uh, this this gets, uh, let, let, let me get on the sp soapbox uh, so I think, uh, academically speaking, uh, it's similar to how your brain processes jokes. It's like there has to be a moment of surprise there, and there also has to be a moment of uh, moment of effort. Like it, it's like there's a layer of meaning that's on your way, your brain has to work through it and then it's like, oh, ah, I get it. But if it's if it's in your face, then it's like, ah, uh, yeah, that's a direct quote from there. Now what? Yeah. <laughs> so this, is, this is something of a pet peeve of mine and uh, and uh, and I always pick on such stuff in other works. So I'm sort of, I want to make an eff extra effort to not get too blatantly quotey quotey in our works, so so that's that's there. I uh, there's an extreme example of this. I was playing, I think it was Mars Planet Logs or something like that. It was the game where you're on a prison in Mars, mm -hmm. and uh, I was playing the game. I did a recording. I was like, yeah, this game's excellent. You should probably pick this up if it's on sale. Blah blah blah. And then I turned the recording off. I was pretty pleased with the game. I kept playing it for a little while. Went up to a trader, and the trader was like, oh, I used to be a warrior or oh. a picture like you, but then I took an arrow to the knee. Never played it since. Ne I haven't even... I uninstalled it straight after that. I was like, no, this yep. is, it felt like, really no. bad. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I had a similar... I had a similar example in, uh, in game testing. And uh, it's, it's not Skyrim-like game at all. And they also had a guy who, who say like, yeah, I was da 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 until I took a bullet to the knee, and uh, I don't remember if uh, if I was uh, actually able to advise changing it, but I advised changing it in such a way that he only says like part of it and like, well, you know the drill or something like this. So sort of acknowledge that it is a it's a known trope, like. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh well, you know how this goes. Bullet to the knee, etc., etc. So that 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 way the joke would work for me. Yeah, and actually, that's better, a lot better. Mm -hmm. See, I laughed at that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's a it, it's it's a fine balancing act, and uh, and of course, people are different, and what's uh, what's too blatant for one person is is nice and clear for another person, and what's uh, nice and subtle for one person is way too obscure for another person. So it's like uh, it depends on your audience, it depends on everything. But that's that's just my strongly uh, strongly uh, expressed bias. <laughs> mhm. Mm and it works. Sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we have. Arcade's disciples. Yeah. We have Sierra Madre isn't getting any younger. <laughs> uh, that that one that one is a borderline case. Like it's like I was of course again it depends on your personal experience and your personal knowledge player knowledge. 
So if you don't know what the heck they're talking about, then it's like, eh? What? But uh, if you're inside that world, it's like, ooh, is that uh, too direct? Mm, I, don't <laughs> <know>. <laughs> uh, I don't know if it's just because I'm like, because I get the reference. Maybe I approve of it more. Like, uh, oh, that's exciting, fun thing, excellent. Uh, yeah, but that, that's that's just the thing. Like, you have to get it, but you don't have to be told that this is the this is the thing that you need to get. Mm -hmm. Like, a fine line, a fine ba fine balancing act. What was this? Ex there was another example where I thought, like, hmm, this could have been done. Like, what? It's like, it's like uh, cousins. You need one more step removed usually like when when you when you make a like one one thing that I usually don't like is is name dropping celebrities or name dropping known people and <laughs> uh, the uh, uh, fallout wasteland crowd is is treading that line but they 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 are they have become very skillful over the years so it's like yeah if you if you uh, put named characters with kickstarter players or or your friends or your fellow beginner devs in it then it's totally fine mm -hmm. uh, if you if you name drop a known actor or a or a known uh, public figure then it's like mm, then i cringe hard but uh, if you if you if you manage to um, slip that slip that reference in with that few steps removed thing going on then it then it becomes okay again for me so it's like i think in uh, it's it's like in uh, in fallout 1 you have the far go trading company mm. and in uh, in neverwinter nights 2 you had uh, a troll go called Orcus Fearheart, I think. I think it was some, something was switched. So, so basically, you can you can immediately tell what it's about, but it's it's not like get it, get it, get it. <laughs> <laughs> there was one in Space Run that was kind of on the nose. You've got to transport goods from one end. It's like a tower defense game, mm -hmm. but you're a spaceship mm -hmm. uh, and you've got to get from one end to the other. And one of the one of the characters you do work for runs the sort of like holiday tours thing, and he's basically Richard Branson, mm -hmm. but you, but he's not called Richard Branson. He's called something like Rick Ranson or something like that, you know. And I thought that's that's borderline on the nose, but this game can get away with it because mm -hmm. of the humour and the way that the game doesn't take itself very seriously. Yeah, like. If the if it's kind of on the nose, but it uh, fits in with the rest of the humor of the given thing, then then it's okay. Mm. Yeah. It's a good game as well, Space <laughs> I enjoyed that. Anyway, where were we? Character <laughs> names. I like approaching the Risto Pain angle from a Mongolian perspective. Mm. I think that's kind of interesting. That could also give you his appearance somewhat. Mm. Although all the populations and bloodlines at this point should be mixed. So I would yeah. think that the culture and the naming schemes and certain customs and certain memories uh, are the ones that last while appearances don't as much so it's like appearances get mixed a lot more while uh, while the sort of uh, cultural lineage is is a lot more prevalent or, or a lot more uh, traceable yeah <laughs> sorry just writing mm. yeah Just for good measure, let me open up the inspiration pour board on Pinterest. Mm. Uh, 
uh, speaking of Taniki, let's let's say that we take the river theme as one of the guiding lines. Ah, uh, what other words would you would you add there? Don't tell me names. Just give me sort of threads of thought. Uh, uh it's like. Uh, like if if the theme was water, is it like black water, uh, foamy water, river, red, Colorado? That that sort of like random snippets that I can. Don't okay, it would sprawl like, away with. Yeah, if I say diamond in the rough, does that make sense? Like she, uh, it's, uh, I don't know. I guess this is another thing where I've taken. Inspiration from Kaylee from Serenity. You know how she's always wearing like the nice clothes and everything, but she's the engineer. I think that was probably my brain doing another subconscious thing. This what... uh, does not concern the name. Yeah. Uh, so this is characterization. Keep 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 that for other other work. But right I'm now, like... I'm I'm simply thinking like uh, like at the. Mm, as in the place she comes from, what sort of names people use there, and and think of them as if the names were translated to English. I liked what you said about you know the Colorado, Red <laughs> Rocks, that kind of thing. That's a mm. pretty interesting image. I don't know if it's right for Taniki, but mm. it's something we should. I'm gonna write this down. I will, I will, <laughs> yeah, I will keep that in mind as well. <laughs> I think Red Rock Canyon was a level in Sonic Adventure 2, and in Sonic Adventure 2, all of Knuckles' music had been replaced with like hardcore hip hop. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> good times, good memories. Um, good times. So, if I like fields, uh, this is going back to Taniki now. Like, okay. Fields, um, oh, clouds. Soft, fluffy, uh, peaceful. Uh, uh, think. Uh, let me give you a different direction. Like, okay. uh, let's say you're thinking about place names. So you could have like, indeed, you could have Red Rock River. You could have something something river. You could have uh, river river delta something something. So, so in, if in if you think in these terms, what might pop up? Again, don't don't think of her as a person. Think of the place where she's coming from. And also, let me share my screen. Whee. With all the Pinterestness. Where did your thingy go here? Uh, every time you open Pinterest, I just get entirely too distracted. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, that's that's the idea. Look at all this awesome, amazing stuff. Stuff and things. Uh -huh. Right. See, it, that uh, robot does uh, like look like how I imagine Genesis slash Eve. You know, like the bulky frame. This? That's a little different. That oh, okay. that's kind of hardcore, high tech. That's more Guardian, you know. I I would have said this. Yeah, that one and the one on the right, uh, robot. Ah, TV this. Right. Yeah, that is <clears throat> like a chubby, well-built sort of deal. Mm -hmm. I like that. You can imagine the pilot sitting in the core of that. It's mm -hmm. kind of badass. Really cool. Oh, and then that. Sorry, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be doing this all day. That uh, one oh. with the white head. Uh, this. Yeah, that one. That again is inspirational art for the sort of direction I'd be going with Shade from Mirror's Legion, so that's really cool. 
I ended up signing up to Pinterest, by the way. <laughs> I have oh. my own account. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, see this sort of stuff, the white the white armor plating and stuff like that, I love that look. Sort of like te technical uh, mm -hmm. almost like sports car or motorcycle. <laughs> yeah. I also like this. That's pretty cool. Have you seen the new season of Red Dwarf? Oh, last season where Crichton has a midlife crisis. Uh, no, I I think I've I've actually only seen four seasons, or maybe six. Okay. So I I haven't I haven't seen the new ones at all. Like of course I'm familiar with with certain snippets, but I haven't actually seen them. Mm-hmm. Hmm. This one we have. <laughs> anyway, I think I will stop recording here because uh, we have <laughs> we have depleted the interesting part, and now we need to soul search some. Mm -hmm. And uh, I will I will need to uh, I will need to mangle some words on my own. <laughs> it is it is a private process. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I we made some excellent points today about you know, uh our, our approach to world building character wise and things like that. Yeah, so this this was this was more like uh writing corners chat than actual work session. Although our work session tend to delve into those from time to time. <laughs> But anyway, I will pause. I will bank this recording for now. Mm -hmm. If we come up with uh, some more interesting ideas, then uh, I will start it again. But for now, thank you. Bye. Bye.